नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर राधिका बादन हट्टी कंसल्टेंट ऑब्स्टेटिशियन एंड गायनकोलॉजिस्ट एट सिटीजन्स हॉस्पिटल सो ऑगस्ट फर्स्ट टू सेवेंथ इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज वर्ल्ड ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग वीक इन ऑर्डर टू प्रमोट ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग इन द होल वर्ल्ड सो एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट वी वुड लाइक टू क्रिएट एन अवेयरनेस अमंग द पब्लिक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग द थीम फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वर्ल्ड ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग वीक इज प्रोटेक्ट ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग अ शेयर्ड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो इन व्यू ऑफ दैट टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू क्लियर सम मिथ्स दैट आर परसिस्टिंग इन अवर कम्युनिटी अबाउट ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग सो सर्टन मिथ्स आर द फर्स्ट वन इज आफ्टर द मदर गिव्स बर्थ टू द बेबी देर इज अ कॉमन नोशन दैट हनी हैज टू बी गिवन एज अ प्री लैक्टिव फीड एंड इट इज गुड फॉर द बेबी एंड द फर्स्ट मिल्क प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द मदर is impure and it may not be good for the baby that's a belief okay but the thing is it's not true breast milk is considered to be liquid gold and that's the best food for the baby especially the colostrum which is rich in antibodies and other uh, nutrients which is essential for the newborn baby so please give colostrum which is a thick yellowish liquid for the baby immediately after birth as soon as possible and not honey or any other prelactial feed and the babies have to be exclusively breastfed for 6 months not even water has to be given so only breastfeeding is recommended for babies coming to the next myth okay um, there's a common uh, thing that you know breastfeeding hurts and uh, it is supposed that breastfeeding is painful this is also a myth the fact is that breastfeeding is not painful if the proper latching technique is followed and a proper positioning or a comfortable position for the mother and the baby is followed breast feeding is a pleasant experience for the mother and not a painful experience coming to the third one what is the other myth the amount of milk secretion depends on the size of the breasts this is not true this is totally false so the amount of milk secretion doesn't depend on the size because fat may be deposited deposited it depends on the glands which is the milk glands or the secretory glands and not on the size coming to the next myth what is the next myth the common notion is which the mothers are told you are not getting enough milk you won't be able to feed the baby so these are the common things which is very demotivating to the mother and you know uh, doesn't help in supporting the breastfeeding so this is wrong all women will be able to produce enough milk for the babies provided they understand it you know there is less pain and uh, with proper position and latching they will be able to produce enough milk for the baby if they are frequently nursing their babies as on demand next thing is you have to nurse the baby every 2 hours this is another myth which is persisting so there is no need to keep a timeline that it has to be fed every 1 hour 2 hours or 2 and 1/2 hours it's actually the feeding basically depends on the demand of the baby it is as per the demand if the baby is showing the cues for feeding that has to be understood by the mother and the breast milk has to be given to the baby or not just basis on 1 or 2 hours the next myth which is there is breast milk you know there are lot of uh, things that you should not be eating this you should not be eating that lot of suggestions are given by everyone in the family including even maids so breast milk is produced directly you know after we consume and then that is all absorbed and directly from the blood all the things that are needed to be in the breast milk is what is produced so it doesn't um, directly depend on what we eat but essentially all the nutrients are needed to produce a good breast milk yes then there is other myth that you know and even uh, women don't even breast feed they feel that after breast feeding their breasts sag and um, it's not a nice feeling they have so but the fact is that it's not the breast feeding which causes the sagging but it's the changes that the woman experiences during pregnancy there is a relaxation or stretching of the ligaments which causes the sagginess coming to the next myth you know breast feeding will lead to weight gain so this is false actually breast by breast feeding the woman 
you know utilizes or 600 calories are consumed by the body to produce milk it in fact helps in reducing the obesity and other complications in the mother like diabetes cardiovascular system and also helps in building up the bone strength for the mother because the calcium is deposited you need to drink more milk to make more milk this is not true so you need to take a healthy nutritious diet and not only milk for producing milk because all the constituents that you take in the milk are then included and the breast milk is produced so these are the common myths support in whatever way you can protect the breastfeeding and shoulder your responsibility and in our hospital to ensure that we give adequate education and counseling to the pregnant mothers so that they understand and the breastfeed and start initiating the breastfeed as early as possible and also we give support in the hospital through appropriate adequately trained nursing staff to support them for breastfeeding and not only in the initial stage but till their breastfeeding to have a safe journey through the motherhood thank you